it's important to be idealistic. Solving artificial general intelligence to work on things that are big and ambitious that will really completely change society for the better, I think that's important, but it's hard, it's difficult. On the other hand, what you have to do is find a way to start grounding some of those lofty ambitions into the realities of everyone's lives. I naturally gravitate towards connecting dots between different ideas. The way that manifested in my childhood was by seeing discarded materials and trying to figure out how to make playful things out of them. So for people to know that I do that at my work daily, I don't think would come as a surprise. So much of my job is understanding what's going on in this field. We have a ton of things that are user needs and product needs, and we have a ton of research that we could be using to meet those. What should we work on, right, and why? There's so many different sort of groups that are feeding into this gigantic sort of toolbox of research that's going on. We also have front row access to the problems that Google products are trying to solve. What we try to do is talk to everyone and figure out what pieces of research are most promising in terms of practical applications. Getting a good understanding of the person sitting in front of me is really key to facilitating the effective flow of information. So I'm based in Mountain View, but I ended up going to our London office for a good six months to work more closely with some of my colleagues there and find out a lot more about what they were working on and then that led to a lot more ideas. I have lived in Bangladesh, Australia, the US, and in the UK. When you grow up in countries that are very different, you are exposed to people's needs that are quite different. And it's really helpful to have people reminding me of their viewpoints. What you're realizing is that, wow, I have the opportunity to actually impact a giant portion of the world's population. Your emails, documents that get shared with you, the presentations that you have to sit through, we spend so much time just trying to extract the parts that are relevant to us, important to us at that moment. What if we could make some of that easier using machine learning? That's a big deal. A lot of the research we're working with is very bleeding edge. Using research like that to solve a problem, potentially for billions of users, it's very exciting. I think it's not only exciting for people who've been in this field for some time, you go out on the street and people have heard about artificial intelligence, they're excited for what it might mean for them.